ba ba da ba Is it cold? Oh no it's not Because it's really, 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 really favorite classic actor will I be cooking for today? Betty Davis. Betty Davis was a celebrated star of film, television, and stage. She was born on April 5th, 1908 in Lowell, Massachusetts. She was known for playing unsympathetic characters. Her films included All About Eve, Of Human Bondage, and Whatever Happened to Baby Jane? So I'm thinking to myself, what can I make for Betty Davis? There's like no research or information on what she liked to eat. But then I thought, what is the most important thing for performers? Well, it's to take care of themselves. It's to take care of their bodies, to fine tune their instruments. Betty Davis was particularly known for her eyes. Actually, she got her first film role because the cinematographer of the movie was like, that girl has lovely eyes. I thought that we could make something really healthy and nutritious for Betty Davis that would specifically focus on nutrients that are good for eye health. So I found all these vegetables, put them together, you make a succotash. And it comes from the Narragansett word, misikatash, which means boiled corn kernels. It became really popular in the United States during the, the Great Depression, which Betty Davis totally lived through. The ingredients were so cheap. Classic. Great Depression fare. So I thought that making her that would sort of remind her of her childhood. And we'll serve it on a little bed of smashed up roasted sweet potatoes. Let's just get started. Step one, turn on your oven to 400 degrees. Right here, I have two sweet potatoes. I'll cut them into fairly large chunks. I would say like this size. You see, we have all those sweet potatoes. This is basically the same process we used for those radishes last week like a drizzle or so. I'll generously sprinkle with salt and of course pepper. I'm also going to add just a little pinch of cayenne pepper for some heat. Mix it all together with your hands. Make sure everything gets coated. Veggie Central. Half pound of fresh green beans. It's traditional in succotash to always have some sort of shelled bean. So just trim them, wash them, and cut them into one inch pieces like so. In the meantime, look at these corn kernels. Fresh off four ears of corn. One small red onion diced up. We're gonna cut some of this shallot up. Who doesn't love huge pieces of basil in their food? You could also use parsley. I almost forgot to tell you about this cup of halved grape tomatoes that we'll throw into. It's time to really make the succotash. Get yourself a skillet, put it on your stove. The first three things we'll add are the corn, the small red onion, and the minced up shallot. Make sure everything gets coated in the oil. And we will generously salt this mixture. To this, we will add all the green beans and this cup of tomatoes. Have you ever seen anything more colorful in your life? Now this is just going to cook for a few minutes. We're going to mash up these potatoes. Here they are, yum. Smells so good. I have this handy dandy potato masher, which I'll use. If you don't have one of these, just use like forks. Let's just mash them. A very rough mash. Let's just taste them. Mmm, so naturally sweet. And we're ready to go. On a plate, add the mashed sweet potatoes and a little pile of succotash on top. And we got succotash and mash for Betty Davis. See ya in a sec. <laughs> I 
thought I'd say this, but I am sitting in my kitchen with Betty Davis herself. Hi, Miss Davis. It's really nice to have you here. Hello, Lisa. I made for you something I'd like to call succotash and mash because I thought it would remind you of the Great Depression. But also, it has all of these delicious vegetables that are good for your eyesight. Well, why don't you give it a try? Cheers. That was quite a big bite I didn't realize I was taking. <laughs> what do you think? I think that the sweet potatoes add a delicious sweet element and the crunch. The tomatoes and the way that they pop when you put them into your mouth suggests a freshness that makes this succotash simply divine. I can already feel my eyes gaining eyesight. I can sense that my retinas are being renewed as we speak. Well, Betty, it's been a true pleasure. Oh, Lisa, you've outdone yourself with this one. And that's the show. See y'all next week when I cook for a novelist. I was the Marlon Brando of my generation. That is no secret. If you want to become an actress, here's what I have to say. Don't.